I've always wanted to know what nitrous will do to a small engine, and we've got a four-stroke bicycle engine kit that we've installed on a bicycle to make it a little more interesting. Additionally, we have a see-through engine so we can actually see what nitrous oxide looks like inside the combustion chamber. So let's get the testing underway. I bought this kit on Amazon. I'm really curious to see what it comes with because this is designed for the four-stroke bike engine kit. All right, some instructions. Please tighten a red trigger button. Instructions. Couple of zip ties, it's a clear hose. This is a nitrous oxide dispenser. Five cartridges of nitrous oxide and some hardware. One of the biggest misconceptions about nitrous oxide is that it's highly flammable. Actually, it's considered a non-flammable compressed gas. So according to the safety data sheet, nitrous oxide decomposes explosively at 1202 degrees Fahrenheit and into two parts nitrogen and one part oxygen. So once nitrous oxide decomposes explosively, that's where you get the extra power. So if you decide to use nitrous oxide, make sure you use a high octane fuel or it could cause pre-detonation and cause some engine damage, which you definitely do not want to experience. So what I've done is I've used a non-ethanol 91 octane fuel along with some Royal Purple Max Boost octane booster to get the octane up to at least 94. So we should be good to go. Another recommendation is to change out the spark plug going with the colder spark plug or else change the spark plug gap. This kit is designed to last eight seconds at a time. So obviously you're not gonna get a long period of boost, but for eight seconds, you're gonna have quite a bit of extra power. Okay, nitrous is obviously not flammable. I wanna see if I can get this engine to detonate. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and feed this hose into the carburetor, and then I'll hit the nitrous once it's running, and we'll see if we hear it ping. The hose for the nitrous is hooked up to the carburetor. We can get this engine running for a couple minutes, get it warmed up. I've disabled the governor on this engine, so this thing's gonna rev really high, and once it's revved all the way up, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the nitrous to see just how high the engine will rev. We're gonna go ahead and install the NOS kit on a four-stroke bicycle. The way this works is you just wanna find a comfortable position so you can get to the nitrous oxide as you're riding a bike. There's a piece of Velcro that comes with the kit that you can use. I would recommend you might consider using a piece of electrical tape or something that's a little more secure. So I'm not gonna use the zip ties that were sent with this kit. I'm gonna use a little bit bigger zip tie, something that has a little bit more strength and length. And all you're gonna do is zip tie it in place. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of vinyl tape as well, just to make sure this doesn't shift as I'm hitting the nitrous. This brass nipple is gonna be installed on the air box of your carburetor. And so what you wanna do is drill a 11 seconds inch hole in the air box and route it so that it's basically pushing the NOS right into the carburetor. Temporarily, I'm gonna place this paper towel in front of the mouth of the carburetor to avoid getting any plastic shavings inside of it. 
Now I'm gonna drill a hole in the air box. At this point, you can go and reassemble your air box and then we'll install the hose next. We just wanna make sure you route this hose so it doesn't touch any sort of hot part like the exhaust. You can also use the zip ties that were provided to help secure the hose. The last step is to attach the hose to the nipple. I went ahead and drained this fuel tank of all the old fuel and now I'm putting in the 94 octane fuel. Thirty-seven miles per hour was my previous top speed on that bicycle without a headwind, but today the bicycle was able to get up to 41 miles per hour even with a headwind. Very impressive. I was really surprised at the amount of power gains from nitrous. I did not anticipate the bike engine picking up that much power, but the nitrous makes a huge difference in each of the engines we tested. Just being able to just push a button and immediately gain about half again more power is a nice resource to have on supply. Regarding the see-through engine, what we saw today was some pre-ignition. I've never seen that before. It was very interesting to see what it actually looks like. Also, should you use nitrous oxide? I think that really depends. It can be used fairly safely, but it does add a lot of stress to an engine. Well, I really had a lot of fun doing this video and I wouldn't have done it unless you guys requested it, so thank you very much. I hope you'll take time to comment. I read and reply to just about every comment and I really enjoy the interaction. Anyway, thanks so much for watching the video. Please take care and I look forward to next time.